so today guys I'm going to show you how to time your type 4 motor using a strobe light. Uh, first thing we're going to do is loosen up the distributor. So it's a 10 millimeter. Just go ahead and loosen up that uh, bolt there that's sticking out just a little bit. You only need it to loosen up enough to where you can actually move the distributor back and forth just so with some slight pressure on it. You don't need it to be too loosey-goosey on that. So just one little turn, get it loosened up there, and then you can test it by just taking your hand and turning it and see how easy but not so easy it turns that's what you want that way you're uh, good to go next we want to pop open the inspection cover here this allows you to look down on the fan to be able to set the timing so you can see that little V that little V notch at the top there that's on the case and of course then you can see the fan spinning well, there's a line that coincides with the timing and that's what a strobe light does as max shows up so let's take a look at a timing light that I have so this is one I bought off of uh, Amazon, and I'll put a link down below. It's a basic timing light. You uh, basically hook up the power lead, the plus, to the plus side of the coil, and the black goes to a ground. So we'll find a good ground here to grab. Let's see here, probably grab one of these, yep. Nice, uh, good metal, no paint, should be good. Next, we wanna hook up our positive over to the coil, and typically I grab the the wire that's the red wire that's coming from the ignition switch or from the battery I should say so I just grab on to there find a good spot there to grab it and then next is this little clip here let me grab that and this clip here goes on your number one spark plug wire so trace your wires back and then you're just going to clip that right onto the wire and that's going to be able to give you your uh, your tachometer or your rotations per minute just like that just let it lay there and it's going to pick up all those signals to get you up and running all right so here at idle i might at about 1050 or so which is a little high for the motor but for now it's good have a, a friend or a buddy or a wife get in the car and uh, rev it up for you but first on a type 4 i like to set mine to 28 degrees advance some guys will do up to like 32, I believe. Um, I've always just done 28 degrees at about 3200 RPM. And as you can see that flashing light, that stroke, that light when shooting it down the hole in there, that's how you're gonna be able to find that line that's on the fan that's spinning when it's gonna line up with that notch, that V notch. And that will tell you when you're on the money. So if we just do it right now, you can kind of see it. It's been timed for just top dead center. All right, guys, I've slowed down the video of the timing light and the strobe. Now, if you look in that little V, you're going to start to see a little line, a little red line appear. That's what you want to do. You want to spin that distributor until you can get it just right. And then once you get that line to line up in that V, you're pretty much done. You can go ahead and just verify one more time that it's at 3200 RPM, and then you can shut her down. Go ahead and put your cap back on, and make sure it's down, nice and tight. Get that done. And then take your 10 millimeter and tighten down the bolts right there, the hole down, just make sure it's nice and tight, so it doesn't move on you down the road. And that's how easy it is to time a Type 4, actually any motor really, uh, but this is for the Type 4, uh, my 2 liter, that's a my 67 912, that's out of a 1976 912E. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.